as we all know that heart failure with reduced ejection fraction is something defined as less than 40 percent ejection fraction. Now, what is preserved? Recently, the European Society of Cardiology have defined mid range between 40 and 50 and preserved more than 50. So, now this is a recent classification, but when studies and trials were done earlier, from 40 and above was like preserved ejection fraction. So, the Paragon trial was conducted with ejection fraction more than 40 percent with ARNI, right. And then we wanted to see whether ARNI can help in the same way as it did in reduced ejection fraction as shown in the paradigm trial. Now, it missed the paragon trial missed the power of significance marginally. So, the trial in that sense did not show any benefit in this group of patients as a whole. But when there was a subset analysis between 40 and 50, 50 to 57 and 57 and above, it was found that it gives benefit in 40 to 50 ejection fraction range. It gives benefit in women. So, if you have preserved ejection fraction in this range, at least up to 57 you can give them benefit especially in female population between 40 and 50 both these sexes can benefit. And we have to see sometimes not only the benefit in terms of CV death which was not there in the paragon trial, but repeat hospitalization did benefit. So, we have to take that advantage especially in those patients who repeatedly go into heart failure even with preserved ejection fraction. As we know that in the previous trials of Candy Sutton, Irbe Sutton, MRA, they failed in the trials, CHAM trial, I preserved and top cat, PEP trial, they all failed. ARNI is the first drug in preserved ejection fraction to be approved by the FDA and now of course, you will have SGLT2 inhibitors also because they also have shown benefit in preserved ejection fraction. So, I think overall, we also have an indication may be not as strong as in reduced ejection fraction, but at least there is an indication to avoid repeat hospitalization in preserved ejection fraction patients at least up to 57 percent of ejection fraction. Thank you.